This plant we spotted on the uh, wall in the old wall garden is something that we've not seen grown like this before. Not entirely certain what it is. It reminds us of a plant we've got at home that we grow just as a small shrub. It's come back every year on this aspect. Maybe because it's sheltered, it's grown almost as a climber up to the top of this uh, what's it, 10 foot wall yeah, with woody. woody stems. It's got wooden stems, it's different from us. A sativa type leaf, isn't it? it is. But with these beautiful flowers in late summer, doing very nicely next to this extremely large fig tree, which again is. Planting a new dorm, it's a good person. Is it? Yeah. Is that new dorm rose in there? Yeah. Could have done with deadheading, it's covered in hips, but not much flower coming out. It should repeat flower a new dorm well if it's deadheaded. But this fig tree, let's see if there's anything ripening on it. No, not a lot. Plenty of small baby figs, but unless I've been picking these regularly, there's nothing ripening up. Considering we're at peak English fig season, don't really know why that's not got any mature fruit on it. That's so looking healthy enough, plenty of growth. Really nice big example. More flowers. Is that another new dawn? Let's see what this is. Souvenir de la maison. Very vigorous. Yeah, let's go and get a close up of that flower. Lovely old fashioned climbing. Almost quartered English. Let's see if it's got a scent. Very pale. Nice rose, not a lot of fragrance. It is fragrance, but it's very subtle. Certainly not like the bourbons we've just been sniffing in the rose garden. We're back at the side of the old greenhouses now, we're just looking through the glass into the old beds. These really are fantastic architectural features. The iron work runs right the way out. I wonder if they extended at some time a little further because the iron mechanisms run right the way to where that gate ends and the wall drops. So I suspect these green houses have been at some stage cut back to here and they have been extended further, although the brickwork along the base, even on this side, looks very old indeed and original. There's quite a bit of restoration work to be undertaken on this. A lot of the woodwork's getting very soft. And it's barely staying in position. But all the glass is intact. This iron work shifted out. Unfortunately it's no longer acting as a drain on this side. These are interesting features. Allowing the ventilation under the beds that are raised to this level inside and all sorts growing in here. A spectacular bit of Victorian glasswork. The scale of the restoration work to be undertaken here at Summer Layton is enormous. But this gives you a little idea of what the gardens will be like when they move on with the main gardens. This is the little cottage garden walled to the side of the main garden behind the greenhouses. And this is full of fruit both walled fruit on the sides, but the vegetable beds here are obviously in use, and the dahlias under the little orchard to the left of the beautiful English thatch cottage, just to the other side, are looking wonderful here in late August. Sweet corn, courgettes, croissants already in full flower, fantastic crop of leeks coming on. And those fruit bushes look as if they've done well as well. On the back of the wall garden, I've got this lovely run of compost heaps, built out of old pallets, held in place with cast iron struts, rammed into the ground and just full of maturing different stages of compost. And then they've put an area of raised beds in here for onions. Let's go and see what they've done with those. These are looking very well. Yeah, I've got the young spinach plants here, which look very good. So 
and cut and come again lettuce. Some oak leafed reds. They're looking good. This time of year I'd be very happy if my lettuce at home were looking as good as those. This is red barren onion. And again, give you some idea. Let's put my hand in for scale. That's a lovely onion. I'd be again pleased with those. They've grown very well. Planted only at around six to seven inch intervals. Now drying off completely, maturing, and they need to get those into storage while the good dry weather continues. This is a white onion capido. Again, these have done well. Good sized crop in this raised bed, which is approximately two meters by. 1.3, 1.4 meters. Brilliant crop. This one's Caraval, synonymous Roscoff. I think these have, you can see the holes where they've been harvested already. They've obviously been picking these as an earlier maturing one. And they've done very well indeed. And the last raised bed, my old favourite, Elsa Craig. Nice ball shaped onion. Again, grown well this season. It's been a good year for onions. I've grown them for the first year for several years and we've done not as well as this, but okay. Got some fantastic, that's not spring onion in there. They've obviously got the wrong label because these are carrots. But look at the healthiness of those. Wonderful coming on. I'm not going to unearth those because I don't want the carrot root fry. Yes, this is red or royal Chantenay 3. There is some spring onion in there as well with some nasturtium running through. Salsify, Sandwich Island, not seen that before, it's interesting. That's lettuce, salad, leaves mix, which is probably just a mixed packet of various cut and come again seed that's run to seed. More carrots, nasturtiums, what have we got here, more spinach I think. I think that's a bed of parsnips. Yep, growing nicely away. We've done well with our parsnips this year as well. Doing very healthily. Remnants of an old chicken house here. I won't keep the fox out anymore. So I think it's just been laid here for convenience. Let's go and have a walk around this kitchen garden now and see what they've got in here. Oh, what a wonderful display we've got here with the roses under this plum tree. And then if I just swing around these beautiful dahlia beds in front of the cottage behind the wall, under planting these spectacular fruit trees. Beautiful English old orchard. Large cactus dahlias. Some of these are absolutely spectacular. They tend to be overawed by the larger flowered versions that are on display here, but this black leafed one has these delicate pink flowers with the yellow centers caught my eye. That'd be a stunning plant on its own. Flowers just for added interest, but there's so many to see here. This planting's definitely the showstop at the moment. Mass of colour. Black stems again, dark leaves, and abundant flowers. I couldn't finish without showing you the fruit on the walls here. These pear trees are spalliered against south facing wall just ripening what an absolutely incredible crop just look at all those and that's just on one tree next to it you've got another this reminds me of the one we grow back at home i think this is more a dessert culinary version these are ripening up Still very firm, the flesh. Brown. 
afraid none of these are labelled to be able to identify the varieties. Absolutely, these trees have obviously been here for quite a few decades. And they're really growing beautifully on this protected walled aspect. And they just go on right the way down this old wall. You've got espalier after espalier after espalier. A wonderful, great big look at this. Beautiful pair. Lovely trees.